truth is, I am Iron Man. Well, hello everybody. I'm feeling quite chuffed with myself because uh, over the weekend I've been servicing the bike and uh, nothing went wrong, really. Well, one little thing did, which I'll talk about in a minute. But no, I've actually uh, performed a service and um, I'm just out on the test ride afterwards just to make sure everything's okay. And uh, yeah, all seems well. So it uh, seems to be running nicely now. Yeah, I have changed the air filter, uh, changed the oil and replaced the oil filter, uh, changed the spark plugs, I've adjusted the free play in the choke and throttle cables. I've lubricated all cables and uh, lubricated pivot points and that sort of thing. I have replaced the rear brake pads and serviced the caliper because the rear caliper slider uh, was actually seized up or, or it, yeah, it was, it felt quite seized up. If you remember last week, I said, uh, I thought my rear disc was probably warped. It wasn't that, it was because the slider was uh, seized up so it wasn't able to move about which was causing the uh, back wheel to bind at one point. But that's all sorted now. I've yeah, replaced the brake pads, also uh, replaced the brake fluid in the rear. I haven't done the front because I only did that um, a few weeks ago uh, when I was sorting the, the front caliper out. Uh, I have done a bit of maintenance on the front caliper because there was a, a couple of the, well, the, the pad spring needed replacing and also a couple of the little metal clips that hold uh, one of the pads in place were also a bit knackered so uh, I've replaced them. Uh, I've drained the coolant, flushed it out a bit and put some new coolant in. I've just realised this road isn't open yet. Oh no it is! It is open. This, is, this has been closed for ages, they've been doing work and stuff. Let's see what they've been up to. Oh that's a lot better because before it was literally pavement river. And everyone coming from the fish and chip shop used to sit on the wall and the pavement, but you used to get people walking in the road. But now they've uh, built all this up and uh, it's, yeah, it's not looking too bad. Should be a lot better for pedestrians anyway, that's, uh, that's the main thing. The amount of times you need to run someone over coming down here, because they're not really paying attention. They don't realise they're walking in a road that's uh, open to traffic. Anyway, back to, uh, back to what I was talking about. Uh, servicing, yes. I was, it was actually <laughs> relatively easy. The only problem I did have was uh, I managed to develop a leak from one of the radiator hoses, which I hadn't actually touched. Uh, it must have just got nudged when I was taking the um, upper fairing off. It kind of sits behind there, and I think uh, during that process, that's when it's, uh, it's nudged it. But the, the hose was already, um, it was like almost half hanging off the, um, off the connector. It was at a funny angle. So I'm surprised it uh, wasn't leaking before. But now I've sorted that out, so that's all good. Get the chain a good clean and lube as well. And also while I was at it, I took the, uh, the front sprocket cover off to see what it was like under there. And oh my God, it's a wonder the chain was actually moving. There was so much crud built up under there. So I've cleaned that out. And uh, yeah, it looks like my front sprocket is uh, my front sprocket uh, is definitely showing some signs of uh, wearing out. So I will be doing a chain and sprocket replacement uh, in a couple of weeks. Hopefully I can get that done before the Svengali Memorial ride. Uh, other than that, everything is tickety-boo. The only thing I haven't done yet is uh, ridden at high speed. So that's what's in a moment. Hopefully everything's all, uh, all good there. Now, I can't quite remember the exact figure that um, that this has all cost me basically for the service kit which I found on uh, the GPZ zone website which uh, was actually really good because I've seen some service kits on eBay and stuff but they didn't actually include everything needed whereas this one uh, it was about I think it was 58.99 or something like that and then the delivery on top of that it still worked out cheaper than a lot of the eBay ones it included uh, a bottle of uh, semi-synthetic 10w40 oil an oil filter the air filter uh, the replacement washers for the oil drain bolt and the coolant drain bolt uh, it included some fork oil which i don't need because i did the forks uh, only a couple of weeks ago 
I think, yeah, that, that was it. But yeah, that was all for just under 60 quid, I think it was. So yeah, fairly decent price. Uh, my brake pads for the rear, they cost me 15 quid for, there were some EBC ones, same as the front, which uh, I recently replaced. I didn't have to buy a, uh, the oil filter tool, the socket tool that goes around the oil filter and yeah, that thing. <laughs> So yeah, did all that. I talked everything that needed talking up, I did as well. Which has been really annoying recently. Every time I've mentioned anything to do with brakes or anything, make sure you use a torque wrench. Get a torque wrench. I've got a bloody torque wrench. Sorry. Right, I'll go down here. We can give it some uh, give it some beans and see how it is. Yeah, I have also removed the hand guards, as you've probably noticed. Uh, I had to do that because uh, I needed to get the front fairing off, and obviously that's where all the lights are attached. Uh, which is where the hand guards were also wired up to, so uh, I had to disconnect all that. And I thought, oh, there's no, not really much point in uh, putting them back on now since it's uh, spring is just around the corner, so I might as well, uh, might as well leave them off. Right, I think I'm satisfied. Everything seems to be working uh, marvelously. No problems. Brakes work. That's the main thing. Um, it's running nice and smooth. It, it does feel smooth. Anyway, that'll do this time. Now, I, uh, I have promised you the uh, 1,000 subscriber video, and yes, I have got something planned for that. I was going to do it on the Ace Cafe meet, but the weather wasn't really brilliant for it. Um, so we'll do it when the sun, next time the sun's out. Hopefully, um, next weekend it'll be all uh, nice and sunshiny. Uh, and yeah, we'll get out and rec get that recorded and uploaded for you. Uh, right, ride safe, everybody. And I'll see you on the next one. ta -da. The same one as his yeah, camera. Main, main feature. Uh, that and, I know uh, this yeah, it sounds pretty good. Is so, and on the it, top here, it is tiny. This is this my old one. Put both of them on the screen. That. that top one is my old microphone. Quite, quite chunky. Roof.